Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. I'm really excited for this episode. I cannot wait to go see this new lease. But before we get there, uh-huh, you know where we're at. We are at the lodge and Beth and I, my wife, uh, we recently put it on Airbnb and we had our first guests. And um, it is so clean, it smells so good. It reminds me of hunting season when we have it real clean and uh, just looking good. The old table. Welcome to Sand Hill Flyway. So two things. First off, we are booking here at Sand Hill Flyway. If you're interested in coming here and hunting, just like all these folks have across the entire nation, the sandhillflyway.com link is always down below. When you go to the website, all you have to do is fill out the inquire to book form. And yours truly will be calling you. Number two, check out the hat. Uh-huh. Check out the shorts, the cupped ducks camo shorts, uh, huh. Tons of new gear just hit the ground running over at duckswaterfowl.com. If you're interested in picking something up like this, use code BOB at checkout because it'll save yourself some money, but lots of new stuff over there. Uh, awesome gear, awesome, these shorts. So the shorts have a built-in layer, uh-huh. First pair that's ever had that, they're awesome. Well, we're gonna head out back here because, uh huh. A lot of you know, and a lot of you got. Oh, sorry, it's gonna be really bumpy here, guys. A lot of you got the same amount of rain we got uh, last week. I think we got like seven inches at minimum, and it looks like starting today, we're gonna be getting a bunch more. And you will not believe how full the pond is. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Oh, look at this. I've never seen it this full. If that tells you anything. Yeah. I am far beyond excited. Um, what's going to be exciting is to see how long it holds. But here she is in all her glory. She's filling up. Almost there. A lot of you have been asking about a uh, pond update. And boy, it's really coming along. You can see a lot of the rye coming up. The rye now wraps around and check out that pond. Uh huh. She is filling up in a hurry. Oh, I've been waiting for it to get to this point. Just a steady two day rain. It was almost three days, but right at seven inches. Now this is the bad part. This is why the pond fills up so fast. Lots of drainage going on. And look what it did on that one rain. Holy smokes. We're just gonna walk around it real quick. Man, it carved out this bank hardcore. Yikes. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I guess you gotta trade one for the other. I'll take a little bit of messed up bank to have a full pond. Look down here though. So this is where, um, this is where, yes, in fact, y'all been at, Bobby, you gotta plant some sunflowers. Bobby, you gotta plant some corn. I know, we're going to. This is the end to do it on. Look how high the water is to the bank edge now. <laughs> so like plant some corn down in this area because it stays really muddy, really wet, really soggy. Look at that pond. Huh. Oh, I never would have guessed it. <laughs> I would have guessed it, but man, it just feels like it took so long to get to this point. Oh, all right, let's go up to the blind and then we're gonna go to the new lease. So now you can kind of see what I'm working with. Here's the pit blind. Obviously you'll stand up, shoot that way. Why is there a door open? That's not good. Lots of sand down there. Jeez. But this is what the view will be. You can see the water will wrap all the way around the front of it. Like it already is starting to do. I'm excited with this uh, next uh, round of rain coming looks like it's going to be just as much what they're what they're calling for well, i guess we'll see in the end what the truth will be but if we get that again this thing is going to be absolutely full of water and i cannot wait but there's your pond update you guys have been asked for it let's head to this new lease or okay i don't have it yet it's not mine yet i haven't leased it i need i need all of your guys's help to decide if i should or not and when we get there, I'll explain a lot of things. Oh, hi there, Freddy Rico. Hi, buddy. How are you? Well, 
pretty kick-ass, not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at that. Man, we threw some roost, didn't we? Whoa! Blowing smoke. God, I love my truck. All right. Come on, Freddy. Here. Uh, I've been giving old Frederick. Mm-hmm. His medicine's every day set. Set. Here, treats. One. Two. Good boy, Freddy Rickle. Unfortunately, his hip dysplasia has been rearing its ugly head um, quite a bit lately, and he's been limping, and I have been uh, religiously giving Frederick um, those, what it, what it is is a joint and hip supplement, basically just lubes his gears up, you know, um, and it seems to be helping a lot. You see, he's not limping too bad today, not too shabby. Every day, I'm paying attention to him, seeing how he's doing. Because man, like, I don't know, two weeks ago, before I really started giving him uh, the joint supplement, hot and heavy, it was horrible. I felt horrible watching him walk. He was just limping, so. It sucks. But uh, this is not, this is one of my other lease ponds. This is not the one that we're thinking about leasing. This is one that I have been leasing for two years. And I just wanted to stop by and see how much water's in it and check it out. Now, all I'm gonna say here is the farmer already gave me permission to plant millet wherever I want. He said, you can do whatever you want, Bob. Uh, just let me know before you do it so I don't kill or spray what you planted. Oh, it's flooded out. Can you imagine during hunting season it being like this, flooded out like this? You can see where the main portion of the pond is. And it actually had decent water in it this last season. Uh, we hunted it one time and it wasn't a very good one. There was another day that we should have hunted it, but we didn't. I wish we would have, because we would have crushed. Awesome little pond. Uh, I plan on doing a lot with this. Uh, I really want to build a permanent blind on it. So here in a couple weeks, I'm thinking about coming out here and building an actual permanent blind in front of this tree or beside this tree um probably like a nice wood blind you guys went to banjo's cabin basically like those wooden uh stationary blinds that he has up against his water something like that i think it'd be better building one like that than buying something plus i got huge news guys uh y'all were here last year when i got the big lease <sighs> and we almost were able to put a pit blind in a field, I got the go. The complete go to do it, I found the pit blind. I gotta go to South Dakota and pick it up. It weighs 11,000 pounds, 36 foot long, 10 man pit blind. So these videos have just now begun and uh, we got a lot coming, a lot. Look at that river. I have not seen the river that full in quite some time. Wow. So we are um, roughly, how far are we away from home, Frederick? Oh, you don't know? Okay, doesn't surprise me. Uh, we're right at 40 minutes, 35, probably 35 minutes. Right at 35 minutes away from home. It's a very easy drive over here. Um, so I knew it was gonna be wet. I knew that we probably weren't gonna be able to drive into the field path. This is a pasture that we're going to look at, y'all. Uh, basically, uh, the farmer, the landowner runs a ton of cattle on it and they pull them off in October, which is perfect um, for me and for the farmer. Oh boy. We're about to get muddy. We're about to get muddy. So basically, I'll just start the story here. I called uh, one of the landowners uh, that I leased, leased from, and uh, I have always leased a little pond from him. And uh, I just had him on the phone, and I was like, hey, um, do you know of any other spots that would be good for duck or goose hunting? He was like, what are you looking for? Just fields or water? I was like, both. Anything, do you have anything that you know pops in your mind that, that might be leasable and, and good hunting? He goes, you know what, Bob? There is a, uh, I have a pasture over by yada yada town. Cannot say that on here. I'd be giving away my secret hole, you know? Uh, we're getting muddy. We are getting real muddy. 
anyways he was like i have always had a ton of people ask to hunt it there's always ducks on it for sure he was like i'm not sure about the geese uh he was like but you're more than welcome to go just take a gander at it tell me what you think if you want it you can have it if not no skin off my back he was like but i just never let anybody hunt it because we've always had cattle out there and what that tells me is if it's that good um which i think it is because over here where it's at the fly line is incredible over here where it's at the duck population is incredible and on top of that he goes bob it's got three ponds on it i'm assuming they're sheet water ponds they might be windmill ponds i'm not sure yet we're almost there and we're hopefully going to see hopefully i can walk through it um, it's probably going to be very very muddy and i did not bring my muck boots so one cool thing that i'm realizing if i lease this property which it's every bit of a half section it's huge huge um, it would give me a ton of private access to this creek and this creek looks like a river right now it is flowing and flooded but I guarantee you ducks get on it. Guarantee you, and having uh, that amount of private access, I guarantee you we would end up hunting that creek a few times at least, so. Still trying to find an access road to get in there. <sighs> well, we are here <laughs> after 836 yards <laughs> of walking. We are here and this is about as close as I can get to this part. Now we still have the actual ponds to go look at. This is not the actual ponds. This is just an area that holds a little bit of water over here, but floods and look how big it is. He honestly didn't even talk about this part, but as you can see, yes, we've had a lot of rain. Yes, it's over flooded, but like I was saying right there, is basically a permanent pond. By looking at the map, it looks like it holds water. So that would be one. And that's an un unbelievable hide right here. On the other side of this tree, you could hide right here. A-frames, guarantee you ducks are in here. Holy moly, that's a lot of water. Now we're gonna try to, now we're gonna try to actually get to the ponds. That might be pretty tough. He said that there's three ponds on it that I can see on the maps, but he did not talk about this one, so I'm excited to see what they look like. That right there is enough for me to lease it. That is by far enough for me to lease it. Huh, Freddy, go on, go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's deep too. So here is the actual pond. We're on this side of it. It looks like there's an old duck blind right there. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Wow, this is beautiful. Alrighty. Well, I thought the other pond was the main... Oh, that's wet. Whoa, easy, easy. That's ready to go. Here is the actual main pond. Whew, we have put on some yards. Cows are getting curious over there. Check that out. These are nice, deep ponds. I don't think we're going to be able to make it all the way over there because I wish I would have had my muck boots. Perfect day for muck boots, Bob. But what I can see so far, amazing. Absolutely gorgeous property. That's one, two ponds that's huntable, guaranteed. Um, man, those two are definitely gonna hold water. Um, I'm blown away. It's, it's absolutely leasable, I don't know how much I'm gonna have to pay, but I know what I will pay to get it. I'm not afraid to do that. What's it worth? What would you guys lease this property for? Drive a, please, I mean, help me out. And uh, I, I wanna see what you guys think this stuff's worth too. Cause I spend a lot of money. I spend a bunch of money on leasing, quality ground, stuff that's gonna provide uh, to my clients, you know, so. What do you think this is worth? So we just looked at that pond. Like I said, it snakes all the way around back to where we originally started that water. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's so far back here in the middle of the section 
There's no roads to get back here. That would be one crucial thing is to figure out how to get in and get out of here. Probably gonna have to use a side by side and probably gonna have to use some of the neighbor's property to cross. So that I would have to talk that out with him, but I can tell you it's so far back here, I would have a I'd have a hard time saying you could even see ducks pile in back here. With that old, old, old duck blind there, it looks like it's 10, over 10 years old. I just think a lot of this hasn't been hunted in so long because you can't see it from the road. You can't see any of this. This is mallard heaven, y'all. Teal, early season. Mallards, oh. Yeah, oh yeah. Go for it, go, go. Good boy. Good boy, that feel good. Come on. You wanna come hunting here, buddy? Huh? Do you? Oh, 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 yeah. Did a number on the duck's shoes. Woo. I knew I should have worn my muck boots. Y'all have been asking about the camo duck shoes. Uh, they will be available June 22nd, I believe. And remember, guys, if you guys ever purchase something, load up at Ducks Waterfowl or uh, Guggen or Bucks, use code BOB, Bob, at checkout. Save yourself some money. I'm gonna try them one more time. Answer, answer, answer. Darn it. I'm just gonna have to try them back later. Tell them that I want it. Jim, is that you? Yeah, howdy. How are you? This is Bobby Guy. Well, pretty good. Get out to the airport. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I just, real quickly, I, I went and looked at that place over there, uh, and uh, I would love to lease it from you. That is beautiful. That went well. We got it. Um, ha sorry, I had to bleep out. Had to cut a lot of it down. I don't want to be giving out my own information and location and all that stuff, because we do have some local competition around. But I want to thank you guys for being here. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be this far now with the guide service and being able to lease up properties and, and go out there and really adventure around and look for better ponds and water holes and, you know, just meeting more farmers in general. But this farmer, uh, he, uh, man, he hooked me up. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I was on the phone with him for a minute there. And I said, when's the last time that thing's been hunted? And he said, oh, Bob, I, he was like, honestly, I can't remember. I was like, is that an old duck blind on it? And he goes, yeah, but that was probably from 10 plus 12 years ago. I was like, I knew it. He was like, yeah, I really haven't let anybody hunt that for a long time. And I was like, man, it's gotta be good. He was like, yeah, I think you'll have good luck on it. So there we are. It needs a permanent blind. It would be nice. But if you built a permanent blind with all three ponds, you're gonna have to be mobile and you're gonna have to hunt what's hot so chalk it up another one uh, another win for the good guys let's put it that way but guys like i said the ducks cupped ducks uh-huh shorts you guys gotta check them out all of the new gear has dropped at duckswaterfowl.com and i mean a ton of new summer apparel if you guys want to pick something up be sure to use code bob bob at checkout because it will save yourself some money and like I said, we still have uh, limited but great dates available. Uh, if you would like to experience Central Kansas and come hunting with me and stay at Sand Hill Flyway, my lodge that we built here two years ago together. And and uh, I, uh, last year around this time, people were really saying, hey, next year I'm gonna book, next year I'm gonna book. Well, I'm just telling you guys that we're talking about it last year. You better get booked right now because it's filling up really fast and especially if you want to pick a date that works for you. Like I said, if you want to book a date, uh, sandhillflyway.com is linked down below. Click on it and go up to the top, click uh, fill out, or sorry, fill out the inquire to book form. When you do that, uh, please serious inquires only. I will be giving you a call and we'll be trying to line something up. So. Uh, it does not matter the group size. That's been the number one question. Uh, do we have to have eight people? No, you do not have to have eight people. Any group size, anybody is 
is welcome. Everyone's welcome, any size. But thank you all for being here yet again. Subscribe if you haven't. I've been saying it a lot lately. Hit the notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. I appreciate you guys being here. Hunting season's coming. Just a few more months, couple more months, and we'll be back at it. Yes, the dove hunting is going to fire up. Yes, the pigeon hunting is getting ready to fire up. I promise you. I'm not just putting it off. I'm wanting to do them too really badly. Frederick's wanting the practice for the summertime. Uh, so I've been keeping my eyes open waiting for this wheat to get off when the wheat gets cut I guarantee you it's gonna get hot and heavy, but until next time